بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أي مريم كفوين today إن شاء الله I'm going to explain unit 12 for 6th grade let's do an experiment experiment what do we mean by experiment look at these children what are they doing where are they what are they wearing excellent they are wearing a lab coat excellent they are in a science lab they are testing objects. So, experiment means a science test in which you follow certain procedures, certain steps in order to come up with a conclusion, a result. Our experiment for today is about float or sink objects. Okay, first of all, what do we mean by float? What do we mean by sink? Float and sink are the most important two words in our unit. Float means that when objects stay at the top of water, at the top of water, but if things or objects goes down, go down to the, go down water, we say that sink, we say sink, okay? So float is when objects stay at the top of water, but if things goes, go down to the water or go down to the bottom of water, we say sink. Look at this picture. Look at this bottle, this plastic bottle. It is at the top of water, so it floats, floats. Look at this key, metal key. The metal key goes down at the bottom of water, so it sinks, it sinks. Excellent. Now, another two important words are heavy and light. Heavy is the opposite of light. Heavy is something that you can't, you can't carry or you face difficulties while carrying it. So if you can carry something easily, we say light. And if you can't carry it easily, you say heavy. Look at the cheese. The cheese is light. The mouse can't carry it. So it's light. The G sound is silent. Look at this picture. The mouse is uh, is facing or is having difficulties in carrying this big cheese. So it is heavy, heavy, heavy. Repeat after me. Heavy, light. Excellent. Now, look at this picture. What is the man doing? Excellent. If we remove the skin of a fruit, we say this action, peel. This action is called peel, peel. So peel is removing the skin of a fruit or an object. Look at this bananas, look at this uh, orange, okay? This is called peel. Competition, competition. Look at these boys or these people. What are they doing? Excellent. Do you remember when we talked about race in one of the previous units? Race is when you have a competition between people. In which, we're, in which people we have the first and the second, the third, the third in, we, in which we have prizes, so the prizes for the first and second and the other places. So race means competition, or competition means race. Race, there is a winner in a race. There is a winner in a competition. Now, I want you to look at this picture, to, to watch this video in order to know what is our experiment all about. Float or sink? The toy duck floats. My shoe sinks. The ball floats. My towel sinks. The cup floats. My spoon sinks. But for oranges, 
They naturally float in water, but we're going to make them sink. Are you ready to see how? Let's get started. To begin the experiment, you're going to need two empty glasses and you're going to fill both of them with water. Now, we're going to take an orange and we're going to slowly and carefully put it in one of the glasses. And as you can see, the orange floats. For the second orange, we are going to remove the peel. Once the peel is removed, we're going to put the orange into the second glass. And as you can see, this orange sinks. An orange with a peel is heavier than an orange without a peel. But why? For us, the famous experiment that heavy objects sink while light objects float, regardless of their size, shape, or the type of material. And for the orange, the orange, if the orange uh, has uh, its peel, uh, if we didn't, if we don't, if we don't peel the orange, it floats because it has a, an air on it. But if we peel it, it sinks. Okay. That's it. Now let's do exercise number one and two, page seven fifty-seven. Okay, exercise number one. We're going first to choose the suitable word for each of the following sentences, and then we're going to match each sentence with its suitable picture. Finally, we're going to decide whether this object float, floats or sink. Okay, exercise number one. One, this ruler is made of wood, which is picture number D. If we put it in water, it floats. Excellent. Two. The coin is made of what? The coin is made of excellent metal. So it's picture number C. If we put it in water, it sinks. Three. This is an orange. Excellent. Which picture? Picture number V. If we put it in water, it excellent. Floats. Three. Four. Let's, what, excellent, let's peel the orange. Which picture? It, it is picture number A. If we put it in water, it sinks. And pay attention that here we should write sinks, sinks, not floats. Now, listen and check your answers. Activity book, page 57, unit 12, exercise 1, complete and match. Listen and check. 1. This ruler is made of wood. If we put it in water, it floats. 2. This coin is made of metal. If we put it in water, it sinks. 3. This is an orange. If we put it in water, it floats. 4. Let's peel the orange. If we put it in water, it sinks. Activity book, page 57. You Exercise number 2. There are sentences that are, not, that are not ordered in the correct way. You are going to read these words. You in ruler if put a uh, it water floats. Your task is to write them correctly. For example, if you put a ruler in water, it floats. Sentence number two. Read it silently and try to doing it, doing it alone. We have a water things it coin 
you put if. If you put a coin in water, it sinks. Sentence number three, number three. Do it alone, please, and I want to give you a two away, and then we're going to do it. Excellent. If you put an orange in water, it floats. Thanks for watching.